Hi, I'm Natalie and this is The Seaside Sewist. Welcome back to my channel if you are a subscriber already and hi to any new people following this vlog today. So this vlog is my So Frugal results. So the Yorkshire Saw Girl and Frugalissima set this challenge, set it up about four years ago and it just helps you use things from your stash so you need to pick a fabric from your stash and you need to choose a free pattern but it has to be a pattern that's free to everybody and there's been some absolutely fantastic entries some fantastic free patterns as well that i didn't realize were out there um so if you watched my plans and inspirations video for so frugal 24 you will see that i took um a two and a half meter piece of fabric out of my stash so i've got this fabric in a think pink subscription box a few months ago and i wanted to use the entire piece so i made two garments and the first garment that i made was the tilda blouse by maison forve so i'll put a picture in here of the pattern now this is quite a floaty top but that's what I wanted because I wanted to wear leather look trousers and then this floaty top on top so it is it goes from a size is 34 to 52 it's a French pattern so it's saying the chest is 80 to 82 centimeters up to 120 to 122 centimeters the waist 60 to 62 centimetres going up to 102 to 104 centimetres and then the hips 88 to 90 centimetres going up to 128 to 130. Now it's got pleating detail on the front here, it's got two different sleeve options um, so I will show you my finished um, blouse. I was very very happy with it. I wore it for my husband's birthday meal and I felt great in it. Um, a few people had said to me it is, it is quite large, it's quite wide and swingy, but I didn't have to make any adjustments to that. Um, it was great, it was the fit that I wanted. Um, the pleat detail on the front I found very easy to do. It looks quite intricate, but I found that really easy really easy to do the sleeves with the pleating and the cuff the only thing i think i would change about the pattern is um so it, it did have a facing which i put in but because you could see through the white fabric you could see the facing here i just did not like the way that that looked so i trimmed it down and sort of turned the facing over so it was more of a bias bound neckline. I started out making this this pattern thinking I want to bias bind it because I'm into bias binding everything at the minute. But and then carried on with the facing, so I should have just gone with my gut instinct and done the bias binding. Um, another thing that I didn't do was the loop and a button. I actually put um, like a hook and bar on which was fine but because the fabric was quite crisp during the day when i was sort of moving about it would undo itself so there was a few times i was undone at the back which obviously makes this bit gape a bit but apart from that you know that's something that i can i can put a bit of elastic on and put a, a button on which i think i will do so let me know what you think um of of my blouse great free pattern and a few people have made it and i think i would prefer to make it in a plain fabric because then you can really see the pleats you can still see them on the fabric that i've used but it's got a sort of stripe through it so they were a little bit lost but uh, i'll definitely be making that one again not at my most favorite make it's a two-piece lounge set, a short sleeve top with a wide neckline and a pair of shorts with a relaxed fit, elasticated waistband and side seam pockets. Um, it goes from extra small up to 3XL. Um, 
but it doesn't particularly apart from the waist elastic size that you should use for a certain size it doesn't actually help you very much to actually put yourself into into it so the first measurement is the center back length you know it's not bust chest hips that sort of thing so i didn't particularly like that part of it um i didn't have enough fabric to put pockets in i'd run out of fabric by then i was going to use a fat quarter but i thought i i don't need pockets in a pair of pajamas so i just left those out um i'll put a picture in of me wearing it i will wear it in the summer the wide neck is very wide neck if that's not usually something that i would have gone for in a pattern um the shorts are a little bit snug you you cut the pattern piece out and think that it's huge so i sized down and i shouldn't have i should have just gone with my gut but because the garment measurements in the pattern instructions weren't fantastic i sort of had to just gauge what size i should be so and they made the great they didn't take very long they took about an hour but it's not something that i would make again um but it did what it said on the tin you know i did what i wanted i used a whole piece of fabric for two garments one is a pair of pajamas that i will wear and the other one is a blouse that i will definitely wear again and again so thank you ruan and sam for hosting this fantastic challenge um i was one of the sponsors as well um so i am about to sit and make a sewing machine cover to go to a lovely recipient um so worthy winner but there were so many entries it was amazing and there's some fantastic free patterns so if you get a chance have a look to see what is out there because there is so much out there that you can access for free so give me a thumbs up if you have enjoyed this video pop some comments in the box below to let me know what you think of my makes and please subscribe if you don't do so already until next time bye